Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Cowboys urge to sign record-breaking receiver, boom or bust risk. The Dallas Cowboys should consider signing a notable veteran wide receiver on the free agent market, according to one writer. As part of an article by Bleacher Report's Christopher Knox that lists three players that the Cowboys must consider signing, New Orleans Saints wide receiver Michael Thomas is named as one of the options. The 31-year-old Thomas has spent his entire eight-year career with the Saints. However, he was released by New Orleans after having an injury plagued past four seasons. Knox argues that Thomas can serve as functional replacement for former number three receiver Michael Gallup. Gallup was released by the Cowboys after failing to produce after signing a five-year $62.5 million deal prior to the start of the 2022 season. At worst, Thomas should be a functional replacement for Gallup as WR3 writes Knox. If he could recapture some of his earlier form, however, he could be much, much more. Adding him would be a boom or bust risk, but Dallas doesn't have a ton of other options, barring a trade. Michael Thomas broke NFL receptions record in 2019. Prior to suffering a number of injuries over the past few seasons, Thomas has been limited to just 20 of 67 games over the past four seasons. The former Offensive Player of the Year was arguably the best receiver in the league during a three-year time frame that saw him catch at least least 100 balls with at least 1,200 receiving yards between 2017 and 2019. To top it all off, Thomas broke an NFL record during the 2019 season when he posted 149 receptions. Between 2017 and 2019, Thomas led the NFL in receptions twice, was named a first-team All-Pro on two occasions, and went to the Pro Bowl in all three of those seasons. Furthermore, he posted 378 receptions during that three-year time frame, 65 more than the second-best receiver, DeAndre Hopkins. Why Cowboys should consider signing Michael Thomas. While it's been a long time since Thomas played like an elite receiver, he showed he still has some gas left in the tank as a possession receiver when he posted a solid stat line of 39 receptions for 448 receiving yards in 10 games as the number two option for the Saints last season. Considering the Cowboys are lacking in established options beyond CeeDee Lamb and Brandon Cooks, bringing in Thomas can't possibly hurt. Knox also argues that since Thomas's cap hit is $11.2 million for the Saints this season, that's not even mentioning the $100 million contract extension he signed with New Orleans prior to 2019, and when also factoring in his down years with the Saints, he could be signed to a bargain deal. Thomas is still carrying an $11.2 million dead cap hit for the Saints, which could help offset his contract demands to a degree, writes Knox. His value has also taken a significant hit after several down years with the Saints. Knox mentions that Thomas would likely settle for a $2 to $3 million deal at this stage of his career. Once among the league's highest paid skill players, Thomas will now have to settle for a prove-it contract, writes Knox. A one-year deal in the $2 minus $3 million range with incentives would likely allow the Cowboys to gamble on the former Offensive Player of the Year. Considering there's no risk attached to signing Thomas to such a deal, the Cowboys should very well consider the former record-breaking receiver before training camp starts. Dallas Cowboys' Stephen Jones is pulling Jerry Jones back from going all-in on free agency. A new report by Tyler Dunn of Go Long appends the narrative that Jerry Jones is afraid to pay the money necessary to make the Dallas Cowboys a Super Bowl contender. Jerry's son Stephen Jones fears going deep into the team's pockets in March. Stephen Jones was worried about money this spring. As previously discussed on GH, Stephen explained why the Cowboys went cheap in free agency this year after Jerry said the team planned to go all-in in the offseason. Stephen said the team didn't have the money to sign running back help like Derrick Henry. Even though Henry wanted to sign with Dallas, because the team had to worry about extending the contracts of Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, and Micah Parsons, neither of those three players has yet to agree to a new deal. If they had, the Cowboys could have freed up cap space to help the team sign elite players in free agency. Steven said in March, he's especially afraid of signing players during the first wave of free agency because the market is inflated. Personnel in the Cowboys' front office are confused by Steven's reasoning on free agency. While the Cowboys might overpay on talent, a key addition could be what it takes to win a Super Bowl. After all, in recent years, the Los Angeles Rams, San Francisco 49ers, and Kansas City Chiefs have made moves in free agency in the trade market to make the Super Bowl. Jerry Jones is more willing to pay for elite help.
a longtime personnel member for the Cowboys told Dunn that Stephen has been cautious of the Cowboys' spending in free agency ever since Jerry signed Deion Sanders in 1995. In recent years, Stephen often prevents Jerry from making a splash in free agency. This dichotomy dates all the way back to that Sanders deal in 95. Stephen went absolutely ballistic on his dad, he says, because son believed this was a terrible contract. Of course, the only way any team gets a talent like Dion back then, or for that matter, a B-plus talent today is to spend more. That's how the free market works in the NFL. Jerry is more willing to open up the checkbook and pay, says this longtime personnel man. Steven's always the one that's trying to hone him in and prevent him from bankrupting the salary cap. And sometimes it's the right thing to do, and sometimes it isn't. There were a couple off-seasons where we could have improved ourselves in free agency by being active, and we chose not to when we tried to do it through the draft. Instead of paying in free agency, the Cowboys rely on building their team through the draft. The team tries to reward homegrown talent. However, as we've seen this off-season, the front office waits too long to extend the contracts of its elite homegrown players. They played the same waiting game with Mike McCarthy this off-season, which is causing the head coach to become fed up with his situation in Dallas. Steven wants the Dallas Cowboys to build via the draft. Because the Cowboys choose not to spend on outside help in the first wave of free agency, the team often reaches in the draft to select players they need for a particular position. A former Cowboys personnel person told Dunn that Steven is behind the strategy, as Jerry is willing to attempt to strike a deal for a player that would make a difference in the playoffs. Sometimes we were reaching down in the draft to get an offensive lineman or a certain position, says a former personnel man. We're in the first round, reaching into the second round to fill that need when we could be getting a top 15 pick. This is my opinion. I think it's more Steven than Jerry. If you can convince Jerry that this guy you're going to sign is going to be a difference maker and help you get it over the top, he'll get the deal done. He'll figure out a way to get the deal done. But Steven's always sort of pulling that back. Steven might have Jerry's ear, but Jerry has the checkbook. The buck ultimately stops with Jerry. That being said, Cowboys fans might want to direct their ire at the younger Jones this season if the team struggles after Jerry's all-in promise. Cowboys announce daily training camp schedule. The Cowboys have officially announced the daily schedule for training camp, which begins on July 23rd when the team heads out once again to Oxnard, Calif. Cowboys announce daily training camp schedule. The Cowboys are heading off to Oxnard, Calif, for the 18th time for training camp with the departure day of July 23rd. The 2024 camp, presented by American Airlines, will mark the 45th year that the team has trained in Southern California. Fans will be able to attend all practice sessions that are open to the public free of charge, beginning with the first workout at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time on Thursday, July 25th, until the final open practice on Wednesday, August 21st Street. Public entry will open two hours hours prior to practice. Training camp in Oxnard will be highlighted by the annual camp opening ceremony and special fan event, Cowboys Back Together Weekend, presented by American Airlines, as the team welcomes fans back to training camp on Saturday, July 27th. The Cowboys Back Together Weekend event will begin at 9 a.m. Pacific, as fans enjoy live music, appearances by Cowboys alumni, Dallas Cowboys mascot, Rowdy, a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader's autograph signing, exclusive merchandise, prizes, giveaways, and more. The opening ceremony will take place at 10 a.m. Pacific, which will include a performance by the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders and remarks from Cowboys owner GM Jerry Jones before the 10.30 a.m. Pacific open practice session. Additionally, on Wednesday, July 31st, the team will host a Heroes Appreciation Day presented by USAA to show their gratitude towards military personnel and first responders. Following the team's return home to Texas, the final portion of Dallas Cowboys training camp will be held at Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, Texas, with selected practices open to the public that will be announced at a later date. Thursday, July 25th, 11.30 a.m. open practice. Friday, July 26th, 11.30 a.m. open practice. 4 o'clock to 6 p.m. Oxnard Fan Night, hosted by Visit Oxnard at the Collection at River Park. Put on your best Dallas Cowboys gear and head over to the Collection at River Park for Oxnard Fan Night, featuring the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. This free community event is a chance for fans to see performances by America's sweethearts and an appearance from Cowboys mascot Rowdy. With opportunities for photos and autographs, this event will also include Dallas Cowboys trivia, contests, giveaways, and more. This year's event will feature host Z-E-A-L-E of rap duo Blackalack, plus performances by local dance crews, an appearance by a Cowboys legend, and more.